hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not in the fair act use it's in my description box y'all so um let's get to it y'all first i want to say um y'all i know that there are a lot of people out here that um hold some of these artists you know highly you know they look up to them okay not everybody but a lot of people do and i just want to say this y'all you have to be careful who you are fanning out about because you could be fanning out on some demons y'all and when it comes to this man right here this is what i see this guy is evil <clears throat> and everybody around him y'all everybody around him there is death after death after death after death and People just seems to not pay it any attention, y'all. They really do. Um, when he hooked up with the 600 guy from Chicago and this guy started hanging out with him, you know, hard, his girlfriend ends up, you know, demise. And um, it's looking like a sacrifice, even her. Okay, y'all? Um she was a mentor to people who, you know, um, had issues going on with themselves and could have possibly had feelings of taking themselves out at, you know, any given time. And she was a mentor. And all of a sudden, she comes up, taken out, and allegedly there's a letter left that um, she left behind saying that she took herself out. And, um, well, not a letter. It was a... a a letter or something text to the 600 guy and everybody finds that very odd and questionable they don't even know when she exactly passed away that's the crazy part about this whole thing too it's not even a given date and time of when she really passed um a lot of death around this guy you know when takeoff gets taken out he comes to the funeral it's a lot of um, things around this guy that people just ignores because they're hypnotized by his music. And um, is he as great as everybody act like he is? Is he worth these millions and millions and millions and millions of views that everybody give him? Or is he a part of um, this agenda that's being put in front of you? And there are so many people that's hypnotized by his music that they are not seeing the forest for the trees, y'all. Um let's get going because right now i do believe that he is in the middle of a rico um his name just popped up when um xxx case you know just popped up again and i told y'all that people that's starting to get arrested they're letting out some folks names y'all okay and they're letting people know that um who all could play the part in a lot of this stuff now, they're saying that somebody that's um, close to this whole situation has called Drake's name as being somebody that was involved in the taking out of XXX. Now, is he the only one that he's involved in? No. Okay. And I'm going to tell y'all there's a pattern that these guys do because they all run in the same circle. But it's a pattern that every time certain ones go out of town, then certain people get taken out. Then the ones that's out of town is the main ones that's behind it, y'all. Ask yourself this question. Where was Drake when XXX got taken out, okay? Um, was he out of town somewhere, relaxing, waiting to get the phone call that um, it's done? Because um, his music is starting to pop back up again. And people are starting to pay attention to his lyrics and the things that he says and the things that he does. And don't do, you know, when stuff, stuff goes down, okay? So, he's already being implemented in XXX Extinctions. 
demise, okay? He's already being mentioned in this. But he's also being mentioned in some other stuff, too. Now, we all know that takeoff was taken out, you know, pretty much the night of Halloween till really early in the morning. Because people keep saying, oh, he was taken out, you know, October 31st. No, he was taken out at 2 in the morning. So it was actually 1-1-1. 11-01, okay? Um, I want y'all to think about something. I want y'all to seriously think about this. If Drake is mob tasked and he's so close to them and all the stuff that, you know, they are a part of and he shows up to save the day, like he went to take off his funeral and this and that to try to save face between, so, you know, he can find out what's really going on. Is anybody saying anything or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, I want y'all to pay attention to this. If he was so close, to mob ties. Ask yourself this question. Due to the fact that Drake's birthday is a few days before J. Prince Jr. and J. Prince's birthday. Their birthday is on, one's birthday is on the 30th, October 30th, J. Prince Jr. Um, J. Prince, his birthday is October 31st. And Drake's birthday is October the 21st, y'all. So ask yourself this question. Why wasn't he at the party? Why is it that every time something goes down, Drake is nowhere to be seen? Okay? But the thing that gets me, after some stuff goes down with mob ties, he's always the one that pops out and, um, you know, stir things up. It's just like right after Takeoff was taken out, you know, him and 21 Savage did that little skit. Y'all, the, the, the Saturday Night Live little skit thing. Okay? And... You know, they're showing their little allegiance to Satan, pretty much, what they want as symbolism and this and that and that and this. Um, they also made sure they threw this dummy in to put on the bowling shirt so that they can further tease the fact that they don't care about what happened to take off. They could care less. And they're putting it right in everybody's face, right, y'all? Well, this ain't the first time that they put somebody's passing you know, right in everybody's face and teach people with it, okay? Drake is evil, y'all. And this is my personal opinion. So I'm going to just say, you know, this is coming from me. I feel that there is a strong evilness about him. And when he put that um, that owl on his clothing line, um, that speaks volumes, y'all, okay? Let's get to, you know, this is another picture of from the skit. And he also has on the back of his jacket, you know, some stuff that has some really symbolic meaning to it. So he was taunting the death of Takeoff, if you ask me, okay, with this little skit. And like I said, he has done this before. Now, remember when I did that video, and I'm going to put it in the video that come on after this one so you all can go back and check this video out. Remember when I did this video, my day ones, twos, and threes, y'all remember and I put this video up because after Mo3 passed and around around um, the first of the year of the 21st was when the movie was supposed to come out. Remember that Mo3 was in. But it ended up getting pushed back because, like I said, they had to train, change some stuff up. But they also had to find somebody that kind of looked similar to Mo3 to throw in the place of what they was really going to put out there for the world to see. Which they wanted people to really see Mo3 passing away on screen this is what was going to go on because this is what they thought was going to bring in ratings for the movie okay now remember when i told y'all that you know it was pictures popping up and they were looking like mo3 but that it wasn't mo3 but it looked just like him and you know lo and behold we find out later that the picture some of the pictures that they were putting out was drakeo the ruler now drakeo the ruler was hanging out with these guys and possibility did some fill-ins for that movie this is what i heard okay y'all this is what i heard and um the timings was so perfect because right at the time that they talked this guy to you know do some fill-ins for some mo3 stuff word on the street is you know drake did a you know a song with him and everybody was surprised about drake out of the blue doing this song with him but he did that song with him for a reason. You know, him helping fill in the, you know, the missing parts for Mo3 was all that they needed. So they needed somebody that was close. And, and this was his reward 
by Drake doing this song with him. Okay, y'all? Um, there was a reason behind all the stuff that they were doing. And at the same time that they were using him to do fill-ins from O3 and this and that and that and this, they were also lining this guy up at the same time. My personal opinion, so I'm going to say allegedly, okay? Um, but a lot of stuff that went on with Drakeo the Ruler around the time of the movie coming out and then them pushing the movie back and then his video coming out because they were supposed to do um, release Mo 3's movie around February-ish. But instead, they ended up post putting it back. And then, you know, Drake here, the ruler, and Drake ends up doing this song together called Talk To Me. Okay? And lo and behold, y'all, I don't know if y'all ever paid it any attention. Okay? This is why I tell you all that it's a lot of stuff that's a brewing right now. Um, sacrifices that has been done before is, is rolling back around to this date again. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to... Um, his album came out. He had a release, okay, that came out February 23rd. And look at that, 322. Remember, I was telling y'all about the 322 and the 223 and all of this mess. And I was telling y'all, y'all got to be careful on those dates. February 23rd is very important for sacrificial days for next year. Um, March 22nd is very important for sacrificial days for next year. So be very careful around those days because it is a lot of sim symbolism in them, okay? Especially if it's your birthday because people go after people for certain birthdays. This is how they do this numerology stuff, okay? Um, look at the day that this album was released or this song was released, y'all, okay? Um, talk to me, which he did with Drake. Now, ask yourself this question. Why would Drake do a song with Drake the Ruler on that special day to Satan? Okay, y'all? 223. Um, and 322. Two. Why would they do that on that day? And look at the video. Even the video was released February 23rd. Okay? And I keep telling y'all, you got to be careful of that day. 322 is just like... um. Big Scar getting taken out on 12, 22, that 1 plus 2, the 12 is 3, and then the 22nd. It's the same thing, y'all. It's a sacrificial day for the demons, okay? And, you know, he thinking that, you know, he's coming up and that, you know, he's starting to be accepted by certain people, by Drake doing this song with him. But in re actual reality, they were lining him up for what was to come, okay? Um, I talked about this months ago and i even had this picture up in my video and i'm put it up there behind this video you'll see what i'm saying that i spoke on this and then when i go back to it now i'm like whoa i was missing out on really some other stuff that i should have put in here okay that date was very important to put in the release date of this song him being under that umbrella it's it's, it's all symbolic okay y'all um is this an it's going to be another demise that they are going to um add to drake's you know mess right now because his name is popping up in xxx stuff and now his name is popping up again in this okay um were they lining him up from the beginning um now they put the song out drake yo and drake put the song out talk to me two two three okay then they turn around and release this song right here, Knife Talk. Now, when they released this song right here, it was um, September the 3rd is when they released this song. Some months later, but still in all, Knife Talk. And just remember the first video that I just talked about, Talk To Me. Okay, so one song is saying talk to me, and then this other song is saying knife talk. So the not let the knife do the talking. Is that's what they saying, y'all? Now, the crazy part about this is 21 Savage is in here again. Just like 21 Savage was teasing, you know, takeoffs deaths. Okay. I do believe that 21 Savage was in another video with him teasing another death, which is his right here. Um, look at him with the knife and he's putting up the little, be quiet, you know, speak no, eat, speak no stuff out or, or evil, whatever that they want to call it, you know, silence. 
this is what he put in his hand up and then he's holding a knife y'all in this video okay a couple months afterwards and you see 21 savage he's holding a knife in this video and i found this really really odd because <laughs> it's weird and you'll be like why is all of a sudden it's all about knives this and knives that okay y'all and look how demonic this guy looks right here okay this guy is pure evil and everybody seems to like this guy and i don't know why y'all gotta be careful of what your kids is listening to okay i'm telling you it brings demons in your house um i couldn't even listen to this music i could not listen to it i had to just read the lyrics because i could not listen to it it's demonic now another thing that happened right after you know knife talk came out snoop dogg comes out with this song called murder music now he came out with this song this video was put up um november 4th y'all okay november 4th and it was on i believe a new album or something he did or something and the thing of it is benny the butcher was on here and y'all know what butcher is all about is actually cutting up meat it's about a knife you know using a knife to cut stuff okay and i found it odd that right after um drakeo the ruler did this song with drake talk to me then they pop up with um this song called knife talk okay and then snoop Dogg follows up with murder music with Benny the Butcher in there, which means butchering something. And right after that, okay, this is Benny the Butcher. And I remember him getting shot up, uh, a shot at a grocery store or something. I'm wondering, did that have any ties to some other stuff? I know people say he got robbed. But just because somebody say somebody got robbed, don't mean that's what it's actually about. Look at XXX. He got robbed. But now look whose name is popping up. Drake's, Okay. Um, so that don't mean anything. Now, fast forward a little bit farther. Let's fast forward to, you know, December the 19th. December the 19th, Drakeo the Ruler gets stabbed to death in L.A. Now, the crazy part about him getting stabbed up in L.A. is he's at a concert, y'all. And he's at a concert with Snoop Dogg, y'all. Okay. And this is the name of the concert, y'all. Once Upon a Time Festival. Okay? Where Snoop Dogg was supposed to perform and other artists were supposed to form, perform. And lo and behold, look at the numerology that comes up. 322. Now, what are the odds of that popping up and um, Talk To Me came out on that same date? 223. What are the odds of that, y'all? Okay? It's something definitely a brewing. And I do believe that a lot of artists that has passed, they are going to connect a lot of people to these same people. Now, another thing that tripped me out in the song that Snoop Dogg made with Benny the Butcher on there, um, music murder music song, one of the lyrics in there, it says, the butcher is... It, the butcher coming nigga the butcher is coming now why would the butcher is coming be in a song november the 4th and then what a month and a week or so later drake the ruler is taken out from being stabbed okay y'all i want y'all to pay attention to how People try to seem like, and we be sitting back saying, why ain't these um, old school rappers saying anything about all the stuff that's going on? They act like they don't even see it happening. They'll say, oh, I'm sorry about this artist passed away, but there's nothing more coming out of that mouth. And a lot of people are starting to feel like a lot of these old schoolers, they know what's going on and they just ignore it. It's just like before Mo3 got taken out, Mike Tyson tried to warn him pretty much of his the company that he was keeping. So did word get back around that Mike Tyson even heard about they were about to take Mo3 out? Because he even himself act like he was trying to warn Mo3. 
about, you know, study your enemies. He was saying things like that to Mo3 in the interview. So does this mean that Snoop Dogg could have possibly knew what was coming from Drakeo the ruler for him to even put this out? See, a lot of these songs that they're releasing, they have meaning to them. Either what's to come or what has just happened. They give out little hints there and there of what's going to happen. Just like Carly B put that little song out, right, with Mo3 around the time he gets taken out. And she got a video with one shoe on and one shoe off on the expressway. Okay? Um, they be knowing some things, y'all. A lot of these artists be knowing some stuff. And they keep it to themselves because they figure, well, it's on them, not me. It ain't, my family ain't on the chopper block, so I'll just be quiet. And if I can make a few dollars off of it, then I will do it. But pay attention to what is being said and done, y'all. This is weird. Now, another thing that Drake said in the song, okay, um, when he put out the Knife Talk song, he said something about why everything was going to take place. He was in Turks. Now, this is very important. Now, I didn't get a chance to find out where Drake was at the time that um, Drake held the ruler passed away but um if by any chance he was in turks when drake the ruler was stabbed in the neck then it's a possibility that they knew that this was coming y'all they knew it is that did he go somewhere this is the same thing they did with mo3 when mo3 passed away okay yellow beezy and Errol Spence went to Mexico. They left town because they didn't want to be around when it happened. Okay? And this seems to be something that Drake does. This seems to be something that he does when people, his people are on the prowl to do some things. Now, could he have been talking about he was in Turks when XXX was taken out? I don't know. But this is the song that he said it in. So I think that it means that he was in Turks when Draco the ruler was taken out. And if he was, is this going to be a song that could be brought up in court? When it pulls up the Draco the ruler case. Okay, y'all? Because was there anybody ever arrested in that? And if there is, is there going to be somebody mysteriously pass away? Right now, since they're in talks of this popping up too under Drake's name. Because right now, it's starting to look like they have had a slew and a trail of, you know, people being taken out. And they have wrote a lot of songs about it, y'all. And they've gotten away with it, y'all. Okay? The fact that Drake's name is even popping up screams volumes. Okay, y'all? That there is a turn of coming in this mob task mess. Okay, and I want you to pay attention to every every move that Drake makes. It's weird, y'all. And like I said, if he, they're so tight and this is their right hand man, why don't he be at their birthday parties when their birthdays are so close together? Their birthdays is a few days apart. His birthday is October 24th. And that should tell y'all something too that Drake, who's Evil as hell. His birthday is around Halloween. Um, they Prince them birthdays is one of them birthday on Halloween and one day one birthday is right the day before Halloween. This should tell you something too. That all of these people mingle and tingle together and all their birthdays is around Halloween as well. But why if they're so damn close, why don't Drake be in the hood with them celebrating their birthdays with them? Ask yourself this question. Or he just somebody that chases the clout afterwards and teases and gives people something to talk about, y'all. Ask yourself this question, okay? But the word on the street is, Drake's name is popping up too now under Drakeo the Ruler's demise. Did he have something to do with it, y'all? Were they lining him up from the beginning? Because when you look back at certain things like this, that's what it looks like, y'all. The dates lined up perfectly. And what are the odds of the same place where he got, you know, stabbed in the neck? 
lining up with 322. And then talk to me song lining up with 322. Okay, what are the odds of that? And then Snoop Dogg make a song called The Butcher Is Coming? November the 4th. Knife Talk comes out September the 3rd. Same year. And then Dracchio gets taken out December 19th as something that had to do with Snoop Dogg and the same song. Okay? Talk to me in Knife Talk. Is they trying to be funny right in our faces, y'all? Do y'all see how Drake and 21 Savage seem to be somebody that likes to tease deaths after people get taken out? And if we're finding these things in just a couple of their songs, how many more Drake songs is teasers for somebody's demise, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Anyway, y'all, um, please like, share. And subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Peace.